I connected with um, a baseball historian, Jorge Colon Delgado, and I said, let's find everything Roberto Clemente. Where did he go to school? Where was he born? Where did he grow up? Where did he get married? Where did he first play baseball? So the Hall of Fame connected me with Vera, the widow of Roberto Clemente. She said, why don't you just come over to the house and we'll have lunch here. So uh, off I went to Vera Clemente's. So I ring the doorbell and Luis, uh, Vera's son, Roberto's son, opens the door and there's Vera standing just a few feet back. And he said, welcome, come on into our home. I hugged Vera, I hugged Luis, I hugged people that I wasn't even sure who I was hugging. And uh, it was a great feeling. Vera asked me about myself. We talked as friends and as, as women, really. She told stories about her being in Pittsburgh during uh, Roberto's years and cooking Puerto Rican food that Roberto wanted to eat and not being able to find the ingredients and having to get stuff shipped from Puerto Rico. She was just dedicated to her husband through and through, and she is today. I mean, she just continues that legend on, and she is, you know, she is the story of Roberto Clemente, and she does such a beautiful job. It's a, an amazing dedication to her husband and her family. I was there for quite a few hours, and it was Christmas Eve, and I'm saying, I really should get out of your hair. And she kept saying, no, 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 you're not going, you're staying, stay for dinner. Now you have a family in Puerto Rico. They said, we have a few things of Roberto's if you'd like to photograph them for the Hall of Fame. And, and up they come with this you know, big tub. There was a Roberto's gold glove. There was amazing artifacts just there, you know, in the house. And I don't have lights and I don't have, I don't have anything. Um, so I kind of made do with what they had in the house and I set up my little artifact shoot of World Series rings and Roberto Clemente's jersey from the 3000 hit. You know, I'm holding it and folding it and I'm like, I can't believe um, this is Roberto. I wanted to ask uh, Vera about the location of the plane crash to pay my respects and to document um, that site, but I wasn't sure if I had found it and could I ask her about it? And uh, she said, yes, uh, we go, my family and I, we go um, every year on the 31st um, to the site um, and I throw flowers into the ocean um, and we pay our respects and say a prayer for Roberto. She talked to Luis and uh, they decided, yes, I could, I could document it. And they said nobody had before and uh, they would love for me to come and, and be part of it and to document it. So that was a pretty special moment. So we went to the side and then I wanted to really just step out as much as I could so they could do whatever they do. And she was on the deck. The family went on the rocks closer to the water. Uh, and she just looked out to the ocean for the longest time and nobody was there with her. She was back to that moment and thinking about that night and what it was like and probably how much she misses Roberto. She threw the flowers first and then they threw the flowers after all of them um, threw the flowers. When I walked around the deck and I went below and looked up at her and I could see her face, uh, I felt like, wow, this is a, a very special moment to be documenting. This is, um, it's very intimate, you know, and no, one, no one's been there. And then they all gathered to say a prayer and I started to step back and Vera said, we would like you to be with us to say the prayer and hold hands. So uh, I put down my camera and held hands and Jorge and I were part of the prayer and we said the prayer and that was, you know, very emotional. Those photos are, uh, to me, uh, you know, they touch my heart more than, you know, that's, that's Roberto Clemente.